so here we have it, the victory. As you can see it's dark, the rain has just about subsided. And I thought of the perfect mission to take this big American muscle cruiser out and to go and get some uh, burgers from McDonald's on the drive through Never normally have fast food, but hey, one in Rome. Look at this beast, comes in just under 14,000 pounds, it's got a 1730 V-twin. Gives it about 125 pounds for the torque, which is just ridiculous. One of the biggest back uh, wheel production tyres around 240, if not the biggest. It looks incredible. I've been making bikes for about 10 years now. This is the Hammer S. Um, it's beautiful kind of racing American blue and white stripe down the middle. It looks amazing. Just riding it back from uh, the wonderful people, Gil and the guys at Thunder Road uh, here in Birmingham, where I've, uh, they kindly arranged me as a demo from. The power on this thing is amazing. The torque's just ridiculous. Only about 95 brake, but that doesn't matter. It's all about the torque and how it delivers it. Brakes are good, and the handling felt pretty good. But I'm going to head out on this and get some uh, camera footage with the sound because it's unbelievable. And show you what I uh, think of it. Let me just start this puppy up. I'm not going to rev it because it's late at night. And we'll start it. Turn the key on at the side. You've got here speedo rev counter. The trip counter, that's in the no range, but you've got your idiot lights here. Simple ignition to start, no clutch or anything. Here you've got your lights horn, indicate a nice clunky switch on the Ducati. Listen to this, this exhaust, man. That's brilliant. Right, I'm going to head out on that now because that is just amazing to see a bit. the uh, golden arches, what can I say about this incredible American muscle machine? First of all, when I envisage getting on a cruiser, okay, Harleys, so you get on them, you feel like kind of like your dad. I like them, you know, it's really relaxed, it's nice, but I always wanted my cruisers to be like muscle cars, you know, that's why I like the V-Rod muscle Harley, it has extra oomph, that's why I like the Rocket 3, that's why I love the Thunderbird. This is that. <laughs> Finally, I get on a cruiser, you get on the Japanese ones, the Suzuki Intruder or the Yamaha version, you know, they're so... You know, you could put some cans on them and everything, but this thing, God, not only does the torque it produce feel amazing, through that back tire just feels like you're riding this wave of power, it's wicked. It handles really, really well. And look, look, Harley, double disc front brakes. Oh my God, it can stop. <laughs> it's so good. It looks amazing, obviously, and the sound is exhaust, mate. You've got to get it on the air camera it is unbelievable it's just this burble like an atomic sort of monster that lives between your legs and just wants to rip your head off but it's not overly mad you know you can give it some but it's a little bit wet you know and I've, uh, I've been a bit heavy on the front and it's cool because you've got so much grip on that bet wheel and because it can handle well and because it can break it doesn't really have any scary moments it reminds me a lot of the Thunderbird and you know it comes in a little bit more expensive this Hammer S you know it's just under 14,000 Thunderbird what's about 11 isn't it um, I'm going to be riding that obviously uh, in a couple of weeks time and that will be a brilliant comparison but I love the passion of this bike, I love the almost ridiculousness of it, it's just wicked. I, you know, I don't know, I've not ridden for a long time, I can't really comment on this with liability but the build quality seems sound, it feels strange when you're riding it because it is almost, although it's a cruiser, you've kind of got nice handlebars like an upright bike and I don't know how to describe it, it feels kind of new and crisp, you know, it's not kind of like a 
cruiser with lots of tradition, obviously it isn't one, and that's maybe why. But that's maybe why they've come about in a different way, and it is so much fun to ride. Anyway, my burgers will be done in a second, so I better uh, get back and go get them. Mm. I'm feeling very American, but this is amazing. I just want to sit on it all day long. I wish it would stop blooming raining. Cheers. <laughs> the light's kind of looking it out. Just got back with my McDonald's, uh, as you can see down there. Um, wow. Honestly, as I said, when I get on cruises, I want to feel like a kid. The Rocket 3 blew me away the Thunderbird in the same way it did because the handling on it was amazing. Victory it produced. Pretty incredible bike here after only 10 years of making bikes, man. The engine, you can hear that noise. The pops are unbelievable as well when you come off the throttle. It really wants to go some. It's got so much torque and power on that big back wheel. You never feel like you're losing grip, even when it was damp tonight. You can really give it some suspensions. Hard enough, actually. It's not like horrible bone shaking like a lot of cruisers are. It's really soft, but you know, good enough to be able to let you corner. And uh, those brakes, just having them makes such a difference because it gives you so much more confidence, you know. It's an amazing, amazing machine. Okay, 14,000 just stand is quite a lot of money, but look at what comparison is. That was special I had from that Harley. You're not, if you don't want to buy the label, this is a great alternative, you know. Performance is there. It really is like, you know, not like in a Harley. I mean, that Harley was nice, and you give it something, you really got that nice little roar and roar, but this is something else. Uh, you know, the exhaust, these are the standard ones blow me away. Anyway, I've been jibbing about it a lot. That was my first ride on it. Not that well, first day. I brought it back from the garage earlier. Victory, Hammer S. He's getting a big double thumbs up from the Wilkins. Um, and uh, I want to ride it everywhere. It's one of those bikes. It's so much fun. But I've got the blade. The Dukes on Ducati Street Fighter still go. <laughs> it's not bad. But genuinely, I've been really surprised by this because I thought it would be a nice raw sounding bike and stuff, but a little bit, I don't know, feeling a bit tacky or something. But it really doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel like it's got the heritage and the build. Not, I wouldn't say quality, but, you know, as in the, um, well, maybe just because it's not all like the, you know, the old stuff like you get on the Harleys and stuff. But it just feels really, really, really good to ride. Anyway, I'm off. See you in a bit.